Ha ha, me hearties! A very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, the old uh, Tick-Tock. Fantastic. So lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-do. Now, also, I want you subscribing to the YouTube channel tonight because we've got the phone-in coming up. That's the real purpose of me popping up is to remind you that Saturday night at 9 o'clock sharp, the internet phone-in. And we're growing it and growing it and growing it. 108, 109, but really only about the third week of our big ones. So don't miss a second of that, I say to you. That's what's happening there. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up just for you. And, of course, make sure that you're well subscribed to the YouTube channel. Yo-yo from Mother Well, says Ryan. Dinky do, Scotty. Kareem, dinky do. I'm as good as my word. We popped up earlier and I said I'll join you probably at nine o'clock. So there you are. So just a few minutes after, I think we came on here at six minutes past. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do, everybody. Lovely to have you with us, Kareem. Hey, up, Scotty. Greetings from Blackpool. Paul, we love Blackpool. Scotty McClure is massive in Blackpool. Uh, hello, Scotty. How are you? Says Kareem, also working on the YT. Fantastic. The YouTube channel there. Good evening, Scotty. Says the wonderful Dee Gourley. And three lovely kisses. Thank you, Dee. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, I say. Tremendous. And I hope we'll hear from you on the phone-in really soon because everybody loves your calls. And they start asking, well, has, has D been on? Has D been on? I think, no, I, well, I'm not tonight. But hopefully she'll come on. So there you are. And I know you've been very, very busy and you've been up in sky with the ski knocks. There's the wonderful Kirsty says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Kirsty. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. I hope you are well. Fantastic. Dinky Doo, Scotty, what's happening? Says George. Lots of things happening, George. But we were just talking about the fun in there. Scotty, good evening. Lappy do. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you for all my lights. Mm -hmm. And Lappy do, thank you for all these beautiful red roses. You TikTok guys are so generous to me. It's a lovely, lovely thing. Thank you for following as well. If you can follow as soon as you come on, two things I ask. And I've been around for 30 years in June doing the nighttime chit chat. And here we are live online. It's just wonderful. Just coming up to 30 years of Scotty McClue, the phone ins and uh, so much the, the, the calls and the chat and oh, a lot of water under the bridge there. I can't tell you. So there you are. Dinky do la beachy beachy. Did I not promise you we will pop up. We will return. McClure is back. Honestly, that water is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Scottish water. So, Lappy do, thank you for my lovely, lovely gifts. You sure did, La. We did, La, La. Absolutely. Hi, Scotty. Kareem and D says Susan. Susan's with us tonight. That's what it's all about. I say, dinky do. This is just. A nice wee random pop-up. So you didn't get any warning or anything like that. Uh, just a wee random pop-up to say hi. We popped up earlier to say hi to all the beautiful TikTokers in the world at Scotty McClure. Um, YouTubers, if you're a TikTok person, can I strongly recommend you get yourself on to at Scotty McClure on TikTok. Same with Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Twitch is Scotty underscore McClue. And, of course, the YouTube channel, well, Scotty McClue, the internet, phone in. You can't go wrong with that. How are you, D says Susan. So come on, then, you guys get on with the chit-chat. That's what I say to you. And thank you so much, those that have sent me gifts and those that have tapped the dollar sign on the uh, top chat on the YouTube channel. Hi, Sir Scotty. Hello, George. Oh, it's Geodog. Sorry, I beg your pardon, Geodog. How lovely to have you with us. Quality chat earlier, by the way, my dear friend. 
Uh, and thank you for your input. It's very much valued. I can tell you what's on your head. What's on my head? Um, oh, lots of interesting things. Tremendous amount. Oh, do you mean the Scotty McClue badge? I'll let you see it, actually. I'll set this up so you can read it properly. There you go. That's it. That's the Scotty McClue badge. Yes. Very, very soft after, dare I say. And we're thinking and bringing it out for merch. There you go. Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Is that not just what it's all about? Is that not fabulous, guys? The Scotty McClure badge. Very, very important. And we might bring it on if we become uh, famous on TikTok or whatever. Now, uh, CH1401, you're on the wrong channel, so we'll just dump you because you're obviously a half-witted idiot. And we'll send you Dune the Swanee. Yeah. There we go. Fantastic. That's him. Just a half-wit. Gone. Right. Good evening, Scotty Dinky do from Charles. Hello, Charles. Uh, poor CH1401, although he's an idiot with a dirty, filthy, mucky gob, he just wasn't thinking. He's now banned for life. He'll never be able to chat on Scotty McClure's TikTok again. Isn't that uh, just incredible? Just daft. Now, I remember the rule on the internet, you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure because it just ends badly for you. So there we are. Hello, Scotty Dinkidoo from Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. Hoping all is well, sir. We love you. An absolute clown, Scotty. He's gone, Chance. No point in even discussing him. He's gone, la. Top man. Hello, Josh. Top man, la, la. There we are. There's Kareem Dinkidoo. Kareem is sending me beautiful TikTok gifts. Kareem, you're a very, very, very generous man. He's sending me tennis and weights, and a football, and a mini speaker, and another tennis ball. So there we are. Fantastic. We absolutely love it. There we are. Uh, is it still the same half dozen colours a night, Scotty? The Halcyon days are over, pal. Betty Jo, you are so negative, you waste your time. The Halcyon days have not even arrived yet, pal. So there you are. So Betty Jo, start to think positive. Get you right together, Lala. There we are. And we had, what did we have one night? I think we had 20 interesting calls. The same as we used to get on the big phone ends. Quarter of a million people listening. Turning a half million pound project into a 26 million pound success story, Betty Jo. No halcyon days over there, my dear. Fantastic. So get your act together, Betty Jo, and start thinking positively. And we will build. Yes. God said to Noah, build your ark and they will come. Isn't that beautiful? Scotty, a shout out to Sienna. Absolutely, Ryan. No problem at all. Thank you, Kareem, for sending me these things. Look at the chat from you guys here. The halcyon days are here, Betty Jo. Enjoy them. Scotty, it's Martin and Emma. How are you, buddy? Dinky do Martin. And uh, great, everybody. Fantastic. You're looking chipper, Scotty. says F document. Hi, Scotty from Chesterfield, and hi to everyone, says Steve Bleed. I thank you, Steve. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. I take it you're one of the Bleeds. There we are. Uh, Kirsty Allen has joined us and is just welcoming everybody. We love it. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? There we go. Dinky do. Uh, thoughts on Glasgow. Oh, we love Glasgow. The second city of the empire, it was known as. And there we are. Of course, it should have been the first city of the empire because it was ahead of London. Because in the days when there was a tobacco trade with America pre the War of Independence, Glasgow controlled the tobacco trade for the world. Yes, it's, a, it's an interesting one. It's a, an interesting boost in many ways because, of course, it was linked with all sorts of other things. When was the last time in the Bakers you saw a sugar top? You'll have to describe more. That's what tells us my granny Maud loves you from Craig Nuke. We love Craig Nuke Ryan. There we go, Dinky Do. To your handsome self, Dinky Do D, you are so very, very kind. Did you hear Betty Joe there? Thinking the halcyon days for Scotty McClure are over. 
How can the Halcyon days be over when they haven't even started? We've only been at this 30 years. Yes, we haven't even scratched the surface. So there we go. We need people like Betty Jo need a good telling. You look so much better, Scotty, and back to your old self. I am D, yes, thank you. Back to your handsome self. Oh, you're very kind, D. You're very kind. Good evening, sir. Beep, beep. Keith, how lovely to have you with us. Beep, beep. And uh, I'll hear you coming as you're crashing the gears uh, with the old gear nut in the Arab. Fantastic. Not that you would crash the gears, because I suspect you're a, an excellent double D clutch man. That's what it's all about, I tell you. There we are. So lovely to have you with us, Keith. I hope you're keeping well. Uh, that's what it's about. Now then, uh, I hope you're right, Scotty. Betty Jo, of course. When has McClue ever been wrong? I've only made one mistake, and that was going into business with a very, very bad man. And apart from that, that's it. So there we go. We've always been right. Fantastic stuff. Thoughts on Glasgow. Oh, beautiful thoughts for Glasgow, the dear green place. Good evening to you from Plymouth, says Mark. I love it, Mark. We love Plymouth. Plymouth Hall. There we go. I can remember being down there in Plymouth. Loved it. I had crab soup for the first time in a seafood restaurant in the front. Hello from Postle Park and Park House. Hello, Scotty. We love you in Postle. Postle in the Park House. That's it. The Merchant's House. Yes, Ryan. Now you're talking. That is the stuff. Uh, what have we got? Thoughts on Harry Styles playing Ibrox? Very, very good, Josh. Excellent stuff. Good news. We like to get everything back on the move. Uh, I did more take the high roads. The Scottish ministers lifting the lockdown restrictions. I can't wait to get back to life again. Absolutely. Absolutely. 30 years and counting, Scotty. Yes, Susan. And uh, it, I've been involved in broadcasting for, now let me get this right, 38 years in professional broadcasting, television and radio. And my first radio station when I was nine. So Betty Jo needs to take all that on board and have faith in the future. Why on earth would the halcyon days be over? People say that when somebody's been a long time in the entertainment industry. Oh, he's living on reflected glory. No, people love these people. Yes, people like Kenneth McKellar, the Alexander Brothers, Jimmy Shand. Yes, performing well into later life. Lovely. Sick to death of the lockdowns is Martin. I think every day is Martin, but I think it's going to change Anthony says, good evening from the Mac Shack and Cardonald. We like Cardonald, Anthony. Do you know the Parkway? There we are. Fantastic. Uh, well done, Scotty. The bad man will have his day. What goes around comes around. Oh, Charlie Johnston. Karma is a very powerful thing. I've actually watched it in action several times in my life. And it's very powerful. Yes. Absolutely. So there you are. So you're quite right, Charlie. These people just don't realize it. Yeah, amazing. Just ignore the toxic comments and stay positive. F document. It's never, ever going to be any other way. You've got to stay positive. Yes, from the cradle to the grave. That's what I say. That's what it's all about. And I want Betty Jo to learn about positivity and to not think, that you only perform for maybe 50 years and then the game is up. There is no, there is no limit, Betty Jo. If you're enjoying it and you're chatting to the world, what's the problem? And you've even had a mention as well. So that's you launched on your entertainment career, Betty Jo. And there we are. If you don't get your Jags, you'll get banned from places. Yes, indeed. And your Jags are lovely motor cars, Martin. But as you know, we don't discuss anything to do with the pandemic on here because we're jolly. We're celebrating life itself. If you're watching on the YouTube, can you give us a thumbs up? TikTokers, so lovely to have you with us. Uh, so there you are. Do you have a girlfriend? I'm looking for a man, says G. Oh, G. Oh, G. 
Gee, gee whiz. Celtic or Rangers, I am a wee guy, says. Uh, I'm a wee guy. What you'd be better to do is go and watch both of them because they're both very good teams, actually, very professional. Uh, go and watch both and then make up your mind. That would be the best advice I can give you. So there we are. So, And then you decide if you're going to be Celtic or Rangers, as you say. Me too, Scotty, says Charlie. Yes, fantastic. Now then, who else have we got on here? Uh, I don't know either, Scotty. There we are. It looks like a roll with sugar on top. I think you're talking about a cream cookie. Now, I used to watch these being made in the bakehouse in Ardrishig and Argyle when I was wee. And what it is, the cookies came out and the lady baker, the confectioner, snipped them with scissors. She went up and down all the trays, snipping these cookies open and creating a V. Then she got the big piping bag, not the bagpipes, and squished the cream into the cookies. And then she shook icing sugar over the top of them with a sieve. And that was good. And they were delicious. There we are, of course, tremendous amount of carbohydrate and uh, sugar, you know, in their butt. But, you know, I mean, delish, I've got to say. Uh, so, the Ross rifle was also chambered for the 303 round, but had a straight pull bolt. Who used the Ross geodog? Because, obviously, there would be a tremendous amount of armaments with you in South Africa over the years from the Boers, going back to the Boers. And farmers would have them for getting food and for defending their property. There we are. So what was the big South African rifle? Uh, Scotty, I've got a question. Would you ever go on a celeb program like I'm a Celeb or Big Brother? Well, left document. I did audition for Big Brother and got into the final of the choice. There we are, but they didn't take me because I'd done so much work in uh, commercial television and they thought I might suss some of the stuff. And I assured them, I said, well, I wouldn't be letting on. There we are. Now, uh, what have we got here? Morton Raymond. I'm not sure that that is what we're looking for on here. So we'll take that down now because it doesn't make sense to me. If you can explain yourself, Morton, we'll maybe let you go back up. Uh, so there we go. Now, uh, Ishtak, I don't know what you're talking about, so we'll just get rid of you. Ishtak's been putting this rubbish in here for a while. Uh, were you in the Gordon Highlanders? No, uh, my uh, family regiments there, Guile and Sutherland Highlanders. There we are, fantastic. Uh, who else have we got? Higher Rangers. There we go. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. I'm your biggest fan, says Josh. Josh, that's very kind of you. There we are. I'm new on the app. Gerald, you're very, very welcome. This is TikTok's top, top show, and you'll see me pop up from time to time. Uh, if talking about Scotty, I've got a question. Oh, yes, we've just done that one. Sugar top's just a bun, a burn. I think you mean a bun with a big piece of sugar on top. I don't think I've seen that, Susan. Iced bun and cream cookies. Should Ireland be united, North and Republic? Well, Ireland really is united, to be honest. A hundred years ago, Ireland got sorted, and people seem quite happy with that, to be honest with you. I mean, does Dublin want to pick up the bill for the six counties? Remember that Ulster is not six counties, it's nine, I think, certainly eight. And Ulster had the old kings. So there need to be a lot of stuff. The only thing is Brexit has uh, probably uh, put the kibosh on the United Kingdom. There you are, because we're told so many whoppers about it. So Ireland might just decide to go itself. I mean, what about an independent Northern Ireland? There you are, and an independent Southern Ireland. Uh, Tony says, looking forward to the Celtic Connections Festival starting tonight. What's your favourite Celtic music or Celtic music? Not talking about the football team, my Celtic music. 
Well, I love it all, you know, and they're the music of the Highlands. I mean, I remember I've known some of the organisers of the Celtic Festival really all my life. I haven't seen them recently, but uh, I know exactly who they are. Lovely, lovely people. Very, very talented. So there you go. Uh, share the videos, guys, and uh, follow me as soon as you come on. Judog, uh, he's our expert armorer. Uh, a number of 303 straight pool 303 Ross rifles were donated to the Eskimos. They still use them. I take it for hunting, Geodog. Uh, thoughts, thought you had a million views. Uh, thought I had a million views, Josh. Where did you get that from? It's a lovely thought. Uh, the bus from Edinburgh Council was uh, 1914. July, the first motor bus, or well, the first bus, 1914, just at the start of the First World War, when the Royal Scots would be marching off to the trenches. Yes, indeed, amazing, Keith. Wow. A baker, the baker sells them in South Lanarkshire. Have you ever visited Auschwitz? Uh, no, I haven't. I've obviously seen programmes on it, and uh, I was very friendly with a guy who... Uh, was one of the first into Belson, and he told me about it. It's it's pretty harrowing. So there we are. But I haven't. But apparently, it's a, it's a very interesting visit. Hi, Scotty, top TikToker Charlie B. So lovely to have you with us. And you correct says Keith. So there you are, Keith. I'm not just an athlete, Keith. Uh, this live is good vibes. Of course, it is, Josh. All McClue's lives are good vibes. We are sending out so much positivity, so much joy, so much love, so much laughter. That's what life should be about. Did you watch A Vitor's in Pit? I did watch it. I didn't quite get into it, but what a superb cast. Love the cast of it. So there we are. Correct. Absolutely. Always. Uh, now, what have we got here? Favourite place in Glasgow, Scotty, I'd say George Square. Well, I do love George Square, but in the days when I used to partake of the odd light refreshment, I had a lovely old pub in the city centre that had snugs in it. Does anybody remember the snugs? I don't know if it's still there. And you could come out of that pub and walk straight over to George Square. It was wonderful. Now then, the Ross was used by the British in World War I, but was dropped in favour of the Lee Enfield, sir. Ah, dear dog, yes. So the Lee Enfield, they must have got a better deal, as I say, Reith doubled the output. Uh, the Boers Commando's rifle of choice was the 7 times 57 German-built Mauser. Now I've heard about the Mauser. Yes, indeed. Uh, do Mauser not also do a pistol? Am I right in that, Geodel? There we go. And a Glock for a pistol. Have I got that right? German engineering. There we are. But do tell. Uh, the Mauser, yes, I remember hearing about the Mauser. Uh, and, of course, the, the, the favourite of the British Army, the big player, was the Bren. You know, encourage your viewers to share the live. <coughs> Get sharing, guys. <coughs> oh, I do beg your pardon. <coughs> the broom-handled Mauser. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, this is absolutely delicious. We're with you for another five minutes, guys. Uh, Josh says, my new song's coming soon. Please give it a listen. Yes, you will, Josh. Uh, hello, my friend. Hello, God. What football team do you support, says Asa? Well, Asa, Isa, Isa. Is it Isa? Isa. I don't support any financially now. So there you are. Uh, so I don't support any football team financially. Uh, so Josh says, please listen to my new song, Golden Hour. Uh-huh. Are you from South Lanarkshire? No, Isa. But I know South Lanarkshire very, very, very well indeed. I used to run the radio station for South Lanarkshire. Fantastic. 
Fit stay. Uh, we don't really know what that means, so we'll just get rid of that if you don't mind. There we are. We don't like any rubbish on that we don't know what it means, Fitzney. Uh, wonderful stuff. Now then, the 7.62 Mauser broom handle pistol was indeed used by the Boers. Would that be would that be the uh, the pistol I was thinking of there? And then of course there was the Lugar, uh, the Glock, uh, another one. Uh, am I right there? Yes, indeed. Should Boris be kicked out of number ten? I think Boris should have done the decent thing and just gone. But but and it's 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 very interesting. This um, I think. Because of his nature, he'll tough it out. He'll just stay and go, I don't know what that was about. You know, that sort of thing. So I think Boris will be staying there. Uh, you really, you do have to kind of kick people out of number 10, though, because it's quite a, well, it used to be quite a comfy seat. I think in Boris's time, it's probably become a hot tatty. And Boris is uh, a fair bit responsible for that, but he wasn't responsible for the pandemic, but he was responsible for getting us out of the EU, and that was not a smart move. Not a smart move. Yes, indeed, sir. The Mauser broom handle, 7.62. There we go. What else do we have? Then there was the Webley, the Webley revolver. Yes, indeed. Are you familiar with that one, Geodog, the Webley? Uh, there's another one for you. Give us a joke. You know I don't do jokes. My goodness me. Um, I went into the doctor's. I said, I'm worried I'm becoming a dog. He said, hop up on the couch, I'll have a look at you. I said, I'm not allowed on the furniture. Good to see you back, Scotty. Star Clan, how lovely to have you with us. A miracle accrued today, says Ray. An Aberdonian bought me a drink. I fit like Aberdonians are actually very, very generous. They just don't want you to know. They don't want you to ken it. But they'll always get, if you're out with Aberdonians, you'll hardly put your hand in your pocket. Um, so there we go. Dinky Roo, we can't say that F document. That's having a go at an individual, and we are not a knocking shop on here. Uh, thank you, Tom, for my lovely thumbs up. What's the highest amount of viewers you've ever had in a live before? Um, 10,800 uh, on a Sunday at midday uh, for between half an hour and an hour. So 10,800. Uh, you know, but that was that was pretty good. The Luger P08 uh, came a wee bit later, used in World War One and Two. Yes, Geodog, absolutely, and that was a German uh, piece of engineering, wasn't it? So there we go. I'm trying to. I'm just thinking of all the different ones. What about the Beretta? The Beretta. What's the background to that one, Geodog? Greetings from Kirkendall, Scotty. Hope you're well. No problem. Scotty, can I request the goodbye song tonight? Beachy, beachy, you can. 10,800, that's impressive. Well done. No, it's, uh, it's good stuff. You know, it's very good stuff. But remember, when I was on the radio, we touched quarter of a million per half hour. Now, that's big. Uh, we were way ahead of the London radio stations. And remember one night just comparing results. And I think it was the lovable lassie. I was laughing my head off. She said, um, would you stop bloating? I said, well, I, I can't. We're ahead of the London station. Well ahead of it. Good night, Scotty and everyone. Lovely seeing your wonderful face to cheer us up. Stay safe and well. And big hugs. Absolutely, guys. I'm going to have to dash. Greetings from your agent in New York, Ian Charles Scott. How lovely to hear from you from New York City. We love it. Well, from Staten Island, have I got that one right? Am I correct in that, Ian? There we are, but so lovely to have you back with us. Guys, I'm going to have to dash off. That's our time. I promised you you'd get the goodbye song. So here we go. <clears throat> Join in. 
Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitor then, au revoir, and a cheery o. Good night, my darlings. Thank you from Brooklyn. Sorry, Ian. I beg your pardon. Ian Charles Scott, Brooklyn in New York, and he's going to look after Scotty McClure when I take New York by storm and come and present your television and radio at nights. Thank you. Ciao, Scotty. Ciao, everybody. No problem, Geo Dog. Thank you for your fabulous input. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. ta la